Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. A lot of people love that derby every year, look forward to it, and it's a nice weekend. Oh, you can't ask for a better weekend. There's not a lot of wind, sunshine, not humid. Changes next week. <laughs> yes, but uh, Big time. but Saturday, Sunday, excellent. Yeah, and we've got the Queechee Balloon Festival as well. So this is the situation right now in terms of the dew point. Not really that bad. It's a little sticky tomorrow. That's when the cold front goes through. Look at the weekend. Can't even see any of the line because it flat lines at the bottom. That's what you want to see. Sunshine, warm, not humid. And then early next week, Tuesday in particular. That's when the humidity goes through the roof and it, the air just hits you when you step outside. So we've got 70s and about 80 degrees right now. Feels fine out there. Couple little showers if you're trying to fire up the grill. You might be okay, you might not. Uh, certainly from Stowe down Route 100 through Waterbury. Little action right now. This is mostly just rain. Though it wouldn't surprise me if there's a rogue lightning strike because there has been lightning with it uh, in the last hour or so. So Montpelier at 623, Barrie and around the granite quarries at 633, St. Jay at 7, and then Lisbon at 718 for the shower with maybe a lightning strike. There is lightning here uh, well west of Messina, west of the St. Lawrence River. That comes in overnight. See how this band is getting together? So you might get woken up tonight at like one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. This is the band at midnight getting into Messina. Northern New York in the Champlain Valley, about two, three o'clock in the morning, and then central Vermont after that. And then tomorrow morning, it's almost gone, but the front's kind of stuck in southern New England. So there's gonna be some more showers, maybe even a thunderstorm south that kind of flares up during the day. And then for Saturday and for Sunday, it's beautiful. High pressure building in, north breeze, uh, just can't ask for better. Temperatures way up in the 70s on Sunday. So on Lake Champlain tomorrow, we're mostly behind the front. So it's a northwest flow, 5 to 10 or 5 to 15 knots, depending on specifically where you are. And here it comes, the hot air balloon. Hear it? Uh, the weekend plan. I think tomorrow evening is kind of iffy because even if there's a storm on the mass Vermont border, that's a little too close for comfort and it's a little gusty. Now Saturday is sunny, but it's breezy, kind of around 20 miles an hour out of the north. That's a little much. We'll see. I think Sunday is a slam dunk, though. Both the morning and the evening launches will happen on Sunday. So that's the best forecast in years. Uh, so here is next week. We've been talking about it for a while. But uh, given the nice forecast for the weekend and the amount of time we have, there's some, some prep time, if you will. AC fixing, maybe putting in the wall units, that kind of thing. We're close to 90 on Monday, 96 Tuesday, 98 on Wednesday of next week. That would be the hottest weather in nearly 11 years in the Champlain Valley. 97 on Thursday, and get ready for this. You factor in the humidity. This is what it feels like. The century mark, 100 degrees will be the heat index on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, maybe even a little above 100. So we'll have to be watching that closely. Tonight's comfy, little humid, little sticky. The thunder, you'll see a light show in the sky, especially if you look to the western horizon overnight. And then tomorrow we've got temperatures in the 70s and low 80s, depending on where you are. Again, the storms are most likely to linger here in southern Vermont as we go through the day. So here's the extended forecast. Excellent this weekend and then full on summer high heat, high humidity pretty much all of next week. Brian Liz.